What's up, man? P time on the building, you understand me? And I hold it down for the 17 walk, Carrollton. And I'm gonna give you the real inside on my hood, you understand me? Right here where we at right now, you hear me? It's one of the one of the one of the hardest spots in the city of New Orleans. Growing up back here, you know, because I come out the Melfamine project, you understand me, and I come back here and I'm thinking it's just gonna be, you know, some regular type of neighborhood, but it was hard as the project, you understand me? And uh I just want to give y'all a real insight on Pigeon Town, you feel me? And why I adapted the name P-Town Moe. So if you know what Harrell Park at on Carrollton, that's, um, you know, on P-Town. Pigeon Town, that's where we from. In the back, front, the whole scatter sites. Pigeon Town, shit is dangerous. And a 44-year-old man is dead after a shooting in Holly Grove. A double shooting in the Carrollton area has left one man dead. <laughs> I got a lot of followers, but I ain't the who give a fuck about that. You heard me? Because before followers and social media was here, I've been had 30, 40,000 people knew who I was. Before social media, no limit, they knew who I was. I done a lot of ghostwriting for people on that label. Before social media, cash money, they reached out to sign me and my brother. If anybody out there know about the Dillard and Xavier basketball games they had every year, you understand me? Y'all know that was the biggest shit in the city when it came to the colleges, you understand? So we had to, back, we had to do the halftime show, you know what I'm saying? Fifth Wall Weeby with me, you know, hyping Weeby, you feel me? And Lil Wayne, you understand? So boom, we goes to the game, you know what I'm saying? So we in the locker room. So we be like, man, start a cypher. You understand me? So they had some other rappers in there too. So they started the cypher. When I start rapping, we ain't like, all right. Soon as I finish, he come in and he ran that uh, murder capital. And the key to survive is kill. If the elements don't murder you, the ride is well, for real. You feel me? That's before the shit came out. That's when my brother jumped in the shit. And that's what we really wanted to see. Cause my brother, the coldest nigga, MT. So we wanted to see him and Wayne, you feel me? Clash of the fucking Titans, you understand me? Right there in that locker room, you understand? And once they finish, Wayne first words. Bro, what y'all numbers? Both of y'all numbers. I need to fuck with y'all, you feel me? We like shit is all good, you know what I'm saying? So boom, we went to the studio the next day. We went over there by, by the architects and we recorded some records. So we recorded this song called Carrollton. A P -town the song went to picking up so heavy, when it got through the hood, they was like, yeah, man, we, we fucking with Wayne again. You feel me? And I say again because when Wayne say the shit on the song, my hood was angry at me. You feel me? On that, man, I miss my dog song. You feel me? It was real shit. You know what I'm saying? Wayne was just like saying shit like he the East landlord and all that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause he was running with the squad. You feel me? And he was living out there too. That's his little partner. So, you know, he's saying shit like that. And we back here in the 17, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, you know, they wasn't respecting the shit. You feel me? But when he come and he done a record, when he came to the streets and f with niggas who was in the streets for real and doing shit for the hood for real, when you can't f with niggas like that, then the hood like, yeah, we, 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 we fucking with Wayne. This ain't the three, this the fucking 17 and the R still for rap, tap, rap, bit, bit. Boom. And like I say, real, that's the one who said, man, I miss my dog shit, right? Real. He come back and he come run a little up. He said, Wayne, come tell me, baby, listening to one song off that album I got. I got 12, 13 songs on there and he's just listening to one of them. It's like he listening to them and not to me. You feel me? So when Real said that, my brother, he, 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 the, real kind, he, he the kind of nigga can't hold his tongue. You feel me? So he went with a little move and he dissed Wayne. You feel me? Wayne knew it, he didn't say his name, but niggas knew it, you know what I'm saying? And he dissed Wayne, you feel me? So, boom, my god brother Magnolia Chop called my phone. He like, man, Stunner won't talk to you. I'm like, Stunner? He like, yeah, Stunner won't talk to you. So, baby got on the phone, right? He like, look, bro, I heard you on the song with Shorty, you know, referring to Wayne, and I want to try to, you know, do some, do some business with you. He like, you signed with anybody? I'm like, nah, I'm a free agent, you feel me? He like, well, you know, why don't you come down to East over? 
and come holler at me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, look, I'm in a group, though. You know what I'm saying? I said, the nigga on the last verse, that's my brother. Me and him in a group together. He like, yeah, I was going to ask you about that, you know, who that was once you got here. You dig? He like, but you know what I'm saying? Y'all come through. We shoot the uh, shoot to the east. We go to east over. We go in the house with baby, with the cash money house. They had the cash money sign on the floor. We go in there, introduce ourselves and shit. Walk up to the studio. So baby like, uh, he like, man, listen, I want to put y'all in a group. Y'all two, Magnolia Chop, six shot. You know what I'm saying? I want to call y'all the Uptown Gangsters, the UGs. Nigga like, cool, we could, you know what I'm saying? We could, we, could, we could fuck with something, you heard me? The fuck, put sad. So boom, I'm like, we could fuck with something, you heard me? So we went to the studio and he like, look, this a track right here. It was a track with him and Chop on the hook. He like, put, put the verses on there. Like, all right. So he walk out the studio room, whenever, wherever else, we went in that big ass house, you heard me? Then he come back in there. So when he come back, I'm like sitting on the floor, still uh, in my notepad. So he like, what y'all scared of the beat? That nigga like, huh? I say, play it, bro. So Diesel hit the button. The bird, the hand raw shit. When I say that shit was so real, homie listening to that verse, he rubbing his hand, shaking his head. When they, when the end of that bitch came, that boy had a smile so big, rubbing his hand like, ooh, yes indeed. We got it, you feel me? Boom, my brother verse came on. He was more excited, you heard me? So bam, he tell us, he like, look at you, check this out. <laughs> baby is one of a kind, my nigga. <laughs> I never heard a nigga talk like this. That's <laughs> what baby said. Yeah, yeah, look, check this out, you know what I'm saying? Look, bam, bam, look, I'ma put you on a bird, you know what I'm saying? I'ma fly to Miami, put some sand on your feet, put some ice on you, cool you down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like it, <laughs> fuck it right. Around this time, like I said, my brother had in this Wayne. So Wayne tell baby, like, he can't be on no label with a nigga who dissed him. You feel me? You can't blame him. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I'm just saying. You can't blame him for, you know, I don't know what I what my reaction would have been either. You understand me? But that's what happened. You feel me? With with with, with the cash money shit. But baby was still on some man. Look, let me get Weezy out the way. Cause around this time he was about to do the Jay-Z shit. You feel me? So he like, let me get Weezy out the way. Let me lock this deal in. There's new deal with Universal for him. You heard me? Then we gonna get back to it. And I'm like, cool. You feel me? And Wayne still was doing more songs with us so, cause the nigga got past the dumb shit. You feel me? Bam, Katrina hit. As the Katrina hit, you know what I'm saying? Shit, we went tripping on rapping. You feel me? We was just fucking shit up. You know what I'm saying? We, we hit, we broke. You know what I'm saying? No braid. You know what I'm saying? Everything a nigga had was still down here. When a nigga come back to grab shit, shit got fucked up from all the aroma and everything that was going on in the city. So everything we had was bad. We couldn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So nigga wasn't worrying about rapping. And I know it's a lot of people who gonna see this up. Go in the fucking comments, you feel me? And they gonna verify everything I'm speaking on, partner. Those looking was asking me, how you get a song with Rick Ross? How you get a song with Lil Wayne? How you get a song with Juvenile, with BG? How you get a song with Lil Flip? How you get a song with these people? You understand me? Because ask me that and I simply tell them, I'm a street nigga, you understand me? My name rang in the street for street shit, you feel me? And they know I spit the fuck out that shit, you understand me? You dig? So when a you know what I'm saying, put the two and two together, like, okay, I need that street credibility too on, 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 my, on my line. I need to know that I'm a street nigga as well. So if I fuck with the streets, the streets gonna accept me. You understand? And that's how the shit go down. You feel me? And all the shit I'm telling you, you hear me? Look, if you ain't believing or whatever, you hear me? I don't speak nothing but the truth. I don't gas, you hear me? And I don't add on to You understand me? I don't speak nothing but true shit. You feel me? But Father's Day, Father's Day, you gonna see the fucking reason why all them labels was coming to fuck with a nigga who was in inside this motherfucking city. The powerhouses, the artists was coming doing songs with me and my brother inside this motherfucking city. So 17 Walt, you heard me? A whole black man down the gang all the way down. Street money records, you understand me? And we gonna do whatever the fuck we gotta do to make this shit do what it do. You understand me? 0017 type shit, nigga. You heard me? Holla.